This is smithy.tv. Hey, welcome to Five Questions with Jeremy Lalonde. Uh, tonight I have two guests. It's my first official three-way on the podcast. That would be us. <laughs> that would happen to us. And, and, and then three-way... Like... Is it hot in here? <laughs> it's with Nadia Litz and Mihal Kedel... Oh, oh, Kandinsky. Kandinsky. It was going to happen. Anyway. Kandinsky. It was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was happen. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, I think the general rule with the three-way is that you make sure you, you know, everyone focuses on everyone else a little bit. Keep it equal. Yes. Know, the general. That's fair. Sure. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll try to keep everyone happy. I'll take a nap halfway through. And you can take <laughs> right. Over and then we can take over. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. So here we are. So here. Yeah. So I mean, um, Michael, this is the first time I've met, I mean, this is the first time I met both of you. Yeah. That's um, but I'm familiar with Nadia's work as as an actor. Okay. Cool. Um, but more, you're more or less now you're kind of focusing more on writing and directing, and you guys just did a feature together. Yes. yes, that's correct. Yes. yes, we did a feature called Hotel Congress. Uh, we both went to the Canadian Film Center. That's where we met. That's where we met. And uh, we wanted to make... Uh-oh, here we go. Um, that hand never happened. I don't even know quite how this collaboration happened, yeah. except that I had a feature in... Uh, do I say that we're a real life couple? We're a real life couple. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think that's. So we talk a lot about. Film. Yeah, sure about that. Like, yeah. Uh, no, no. Well, I mean, you know, we're, we're, we just saw more, so we're, yeah, we're debating yeah. whether or not. Yeah. A couple. Were, were, the, were the couple of them worth it? Um, but <laughs> wow. Have you seen Henneke's and more? No. <laughs> oh, it'll depress oh, the fuck out. You know, I I, oh, I, I, don't, I don't like Henneke because oh, he yeah. pissed me off with Funny Games. Because why? Well, because I think he intentionally made that film just to make you not like it. Possible. If you didn't like Funny Games, you will hate Amor. Well, that's just it. I mean, because I know I've listened to interviews with him, and he talks about with Funny Games is the idea that he respects people more that walked out of that movie than people uh-huh. that stuck around and, and stuck with it. Yeah. So it's like, I know, fuck it you. Feel Why right should I give somehow. you my? Yeah. So for me, that really kind of well, didn't sit with me. Well, he is a genius, though. There's so that. I feel like he, he can, he you can have get a bit of give when you are like as exceptional at pissing you off. As I've he heard is. nothing but amazing things about Amor, so I I will probably you rescind will wanna my. Kill it's it's good, but it's really <laughs> not. You yeah. will want to. Not a date movie. It's not a, <laughs> not a date. Movie. All those car ride homes <laughs> after that movie. Yeah, I can only I imagine. I cannot oh, imagine. Oh God. Ooh. It's like. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't, what's it about? I don't, I don't know anything about I don't even know the general. Well, what's the one liner? Uh, an old, <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, two older people, uh, one of whom um, slowly starts deteriorating. Uh, and they stay in this one apartment the whole time. And there's no jokes. Either. Yeah. There's, there's no, no, there's no relief. relief at all. There's no relief. There's yeah. no relief. You know, and like it's you just, think that it's her degradation. Easy. It's her degrading and him kind of trying to cope with it and or them trying to cope with it. And let's just say they, uh, you know, they make some interesting choices. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah. it's just, it's it's exceptionally bleak. Like, I always think, it's so bleak. like, and this is like a terrible conversation, but like, I think if I get, you know, cancer or if I have a stroke or something, like, I'll be able to, like, laugh every once in a while. Every now and then and there'll be some so joy in your you life I mean? still. I feel like I'll... Like, you would be able to laugh at something. I don't know. But these people, they, there was no laughter. They didn't have a television. If I was holed up they're in old, bed, I don't watch reruns of some sort You'd of have thing. Netflix you wanna, going on. You want to read books. I don't want to read books when you're out of music. stroke. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it was bleak. So, it, it's, basic, yeah. it's, it's a pretty that was, bleak We just saw that a couple movie. of days ago. Yeah, if you, yeah. And it, I mean, it is it it is strong, and like I have some you know choking up moments because there's some you know there's some there's some sad stuff, but it's very sensitive. It's yeah. Well, some things just reminded me of like my grandmother and things like that. So I mean, I'm kind of familiar with that with the territory of what, what it goes through. But it's just like, um, just this unrelenting pace of just the downward spiral. I don't know if I can, if I can get into that. You can't. It, and it's and it's don't. hard. Like it's hard. I'm fine with harsh. I'm okay with that kind of stuff. But I'm just like I need. Like, do you, I, There's no hope, is what I'll say. Yeah, so it's like, do you care about these people at all? Like, not really. Not, not really, as much. No, not as much think, as maybe you should. He's like, this is yeah. a solid advertisement he's, for he's more. He's a genius. No, I stand behind the fact that he's a genius. Why? Because, well, I will say that while I was watching the movie, I was like, I hate this movie. I really want to leave. <laughs> There's no redeeming qualities. He's just taking, you know, the piss at us as an audience. And then, like, two or three days later, like, honestly, we had some, 
we had some fights and I was like, this is about a more. Like, I know it goes back to the sense of like, will you take care of me when I'm 80? You know, what will that be like? Yeah, sorry, hot, hot seat. But it's like, so that kind of thing, that's genius, I think, when you have you a movie. Can, it's a movie, it does will. stay with you. You know, and he does have the ability to do that, and I think that is like he makes you think. Some kind of I thought a some lot. kind of ability to be able to but how much to, to, to manipulate life is you just that a much. But he's a, he's a, I mean he's a manipulative director. That's his yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he's yeah. so good at he's it. He's very good. And he does actually like whatever it is that, that he did with this movie, and and even like after seeing the movie, I was just like, huh. But yeah, but it does stay with you, and it does it does affect you a little bit more. So did you think about anything life wise after you saw it? Like did yeah, you... I wanted to kill myself. But, yeah, you know, because like, you might as well do it now. <laughs> you guys you had a nice couple. <laughs> so anyways, we had this great Valentine's Day yeah. last oh, week. Oh, did you see it on Valentine's <laughs> Day? No, we didn't. We saw it. <laughs> no, but people we had should. a great Valentine's should. Day last week, but then on Tuesday we saw more. And, you know, yeah. it's time to... I, mean, I think there's, there's got to be a comedy that next that we see and I get on the Netflix yeah. or something and see something. Yeah. I would love to. I would love to see actually a Michael Haneke comedy. I would like to. I would like him to do a comedy. Have you seen his Twitter account or his fake Twitter account? No. Yeah. By the way. Oh. Oh. oh maybe oh, I have it's, actually. It's yes. A fake I, I think Twitter I just account. recently came yeah. across it. Yes. It's a fake account. And it's quite amusing. He he bashes <laughs> um, Ben Affleck on that account, whoever this person is, but in such a very clever, funny way. Like you would um, actually believe that Michael Haneke wrote some of that stuff. Yeah. Well, assuming he would Twitter, and assuming that tweet. he had a sense of humor, but, which you yeah. couldn't. Which you could, talk I, I don't think he movies. has a sense of humor. But In that interview, there was an interview on whatever, like Hollywood Reporter or something. They would do the round the table. The round table, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he was, I guess, in the screenwriting one because he's nominated for screenplay for the Oscars. And uh, yeah, he it was. He didn't crack a joke once. He was pretty serious. He was very. He was speaking through an interpreter, which you know, is doubly. He's you know, Austrian. Serious, I guess. You know? I feel like maybe. Um, and he killed them when they got his interpretation wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he has know. like a really dry sense of humor, and that doesn't translate into. It could be. So you think that Amor is actually a comedy? He's funny as shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a comedy about dying. Let's do yeah. a paper on that. Yeah, you know, I guess. I mean, a, a comedic take on Amor. I, I guess mean, funny games could be. That's your challenge. Like make make a film that's a comedy version of Amor. That, wow. is, that is genius, actually. Wow. I kind of want to leave right now and start working on that. Because yeah. I think that, I mean, it actually could be a farce. It yeah. could be. Well, I guess it could be. It could be like one of those, um, uh, <laughs> like like one of those Wayans Brothers movies. Like, you know how they do a parody? Scary movie? Like a scary movie? It should be like... <laughs> 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 you have got a very small parody audience for that. But I think they'd really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they'd yeah. appreciate the hell out of it. The ones that didn't want to kill you for fucking with Henneke's <laughs> work. Exactly. Exactly. I think... Henneke fans have a sense of humor, though, I think. You can see, I think you have to. Well, the ones that are alive. The ones that <laughs> have not shot yeah. themselves after Because if you don't laugh, movies. you just kill yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But what was... I mean, the White Ribbon... It's, it's, the, it's one it's of the best pretty, movies of yeah. the world. Yeah. Like, it's so good. It, 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 see, that's why I didn't bother with it, because I was so mad about funny games. Yeah, I don't blame you. And and White Ribbon, it's no laugh fest. It's about incest. <laughs> In South, you know, World War. Again, see, that could become in someone's niche. Yeah. Take Henneke films and make the comedy version of that topic. Where is Michelle Gondry when you need. I feel like Michelle Gondry. He could Gondry. do it. He yeah, could yeah, probably yeah, do it. Yeah. He could probably do it, yeah. Yeah. That's true. A little whimsy? A little whimsy to that Henneke? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe a little musical number? I think you should do a musical, too. <laughs> a Michael Henneke musical? A Michael Henneke musical. That'd be great. Yeah. That could be, you know. So anyways. We should we just, we so should start, to, well, we could start a crowdfunding campaign. Right now. For, to, <laughs> and, then, and then present him the money. It's like, here's the money. You can do whatever you want, but it has to be a comedy <laughs> that other people would laugh at, not you. Right. <laughs> right. No, it's true, yeah. say all of my yeah. work has been yeah. comedy. It's, yeah. It's been misinterpreted, is what he would But say. he would just tell us to go fuck ourselves. I would, I would definitely contribute to that crowd, that crowdfunding. Make, someone, uh, someone, I'm not going to do it, so someone else really can make it. This a really big tangent start. from... We just made a wow. film together. So, so we, we made a movie. Now our time is up on that question, so we can't talk about <laughs> we didn't even, it. We didn't even say the title, by the way. It's called Hotel Congress. Hotel Congress. I think Hotel we did. Congress. You said you met at the film at the film center. We met at the film center and started sleeping together. Uh, started sleeping together. Oh, um, so trashy. Well, I was just <laughs> was so you know, many letters I, it was, before then. Yeah, it was more romantic than that, but you know, cutting to the chase. Yeah, but we're. Um, <laughs> A couple of years later, we got the chance. Find ourselves. We find ourselves um, with projects in development, uh, feature films in development. We've done shorts and, and mm -hmm. done, done, done that stuff. Um, and we and Ingrid Venager came. To, well, she didn't come to us. She announced the one K yeah, yeah, yeah. that was back, back challenge, in summer. which was last was summer. summer. Um, and uh, we pitched a project that uh, Nadia had uh, come up with. I wrote a film in twelve days. 
12 days. for the pitch. I wrote an entire feature. You were supposed to just hand in a treatment. I handed in the feature yeah. <laughs> that we ended up shooting. That we ended up shooting like verbatim, basically. Oh, almost. Yeah, almost. Not the 12-day draft. 12 days. Oh, the 12-day draft. That was the sort of point yeah. for us, I think, a little bit, was to just really follow instincts. Get it out there. Get it out there and see if you could trust yourself as an artist. You know, you when you're in development, you probably know this, it's just a lot of second guessing because you have to, because so much money's at stake that other people have the right to contribute. That's fair enough. Uh, but you start to then say, well, what is it about me that is, what do I, how do I tell a story that's unique? What, what am I interested in telling? What do I add to the conversation? Me? What do they add to the conversation? So this was the whole thing was, what do I add to the conversation? And let's not, second guess it, wonder if we're right, let's just go with our instincts. So uh, we were co-directors on it. I was in it. In it as well. Uh, Philip yeah. Riccio was also very much in this process. Yeah. Uh, uh, he, he was the producer, he and, was producer and the other star. And the other star. Yeah. But there's only two people in it. And he <laughs> was, we talked a lot about the when I was writing it. Um, so he was very helpful, as were you as, were you as well. But... Um, yeah, so we just went to Tucson, Arizona, is where we shot it. So we took a thousand dollars and we thought we'd shoot on location. Yeah. How'd you even get there for a thousand dollars? Well, we well, broke some rules. Yeah, well, or bent them anyway. We were, See this bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we were points. allowed to because we were already going there. Ah, uh, so you're allowed trip. to count that. Yeah, we were allowed to yeah, count that. You're allowed to count that. So, yeah. So we brought Philip with us, and then and then we flew out Dan Grant on my points. Uh, Who's the DOP? Didn't really, oh, sorry, Dan yeah. Grant was our DOP, Who, and that was our yeah. our. Because well, yeah, so it was twelve days to write. Uh, three weeks of prepping. Three weeks of prep, then we had a crew of five, and that includes the actors. So total feature film. Feature, so like feature, feature film. Feature film. Sound. Uh, yeah, we had the sound guy was our local uh, sound guy. Um, got him local. Got, got, got on Craigslist. Got him, got him, find him on Craigslist. Um, it's t- <laughs> not a lot of sound people in Tucson. Uh, as it turns out, which is, uh, yeah, we got him. We got, we got the one. We, 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 we got the one. Did he, was he guy. good? Did he get the good? Ah, uh, you know, nice sounds guy. tricky. He was nice. <laughs> wow. You know when you ask him really how, nice how the sound guy do, it's like he was, he, he was pleasurable to be around. See, usually sound guys are dicks, but they get, they do good work. You got the one nice guy who couldn't. You know what? And on this particular, uh, on this particular, trying to be positive. I know. Like, to, Aww. On the, he, I know love, love Bruce. Though. Yeah. Great we only Great had forty hours to shoot yeah. the entire feature. Yeah, we shot a feature oh, yeah. in forty so, hours. So by the way, we also did yeah. that. And I think that's probably the most. So it was actually very helpful that he was nice. Yeah. Because if he had been a jerk, then you know everyone else yeah. knew each other, and you couldn't really jerk out. So. So forty hours. So that, how many days was that? That was two and a half. Uh, oh, you, no, geez. we, well, no, we, three, three days, days, three days, I guess, but at, can we spaced it, yeah, we spaced it out. At, uh, the 12 hour, what is this math? Like, well, like, yeah, 12, 12, and then, it wasn't oh, even 14, quite 40 hours, 16, we use that, we throw that yeah. out, but it wasn't So essentially three days. Hours. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good for you. With break, I mean, we had, like, we had So is it like a lot of oneers, I assume? It's a lot of oneers. Yeah. Um, there are, there's, I mean, there's only two people in the film and because of ACTRA rules, we couldn't even have somebody else in it if we wanted to. So during that three weeks of prep, we worked really, really hard. You did a lot of rehearsing. I had been at the location before. I was the only one of the group who had been before to this hotel called the Hotel Congress. It's in Tucson, Arizona, and it's famous because John Dillinger, the bank robber, uh, was caught there. One of the times that he was caught, he was caught there. And there was a fire, and some of his men got hurt and arrested there. And it has this folklore to it. And I was there about six or seven years ago seeing a rock band a show. Because they have this kind of indie vibe. Yeah. It's, the, it's the loudest hotel you'll ever stay at. Yeah, it's, okay. it's the friendliest. It's it's. Yeah. They're amazing. I called them up before I started writing for, for the 12 days and said, if we win this, can we come and shoot for no money? And they said, yeah. Well, they said, let's think about it. But they were like, <laughs> yeah. meh. Yeah, maybe. Well, they were like, well, they were like yeah. I mean, they were very supportive. They let, they let us shoot all over the place with, like, no problems. That like, We were on the roof, which you normally can't go on. Uh, we used Ladybird to open up rooms for us and close yeah. rooms for us, and as long as we didn't really get in their way. And and the thing is, we were there in the, in the summertime, and then summertime, the <laughs> hotel isn't very busy for 
as a hotel. It's yeah. mainly, I mean, they have like a restaurant, and they have like a, they have a couple of concert venues. Uh, and they run like the best DJ night in town in, in Tucson. Advertised as that. It's advertised DJ as that. Night in town. Yeah. Um, in Tucson. So luckily there wasn't a lot of other people in the hotel, <laughs> you know, but, uh, but it was loud. It was definitely, it, was, it is one of the, there's actually a part of the hotel with the, with the, with the, where um, you can actually feel, like when the club is going, like the floor moves. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so so yeah. we actually have some of our shots. We have to stabilize a little bit in post they shake. because they Because of the shaking of like, from, can, of the thump thump. Yeah. So thump that was thump. interesting. But yeah, 40, 40, in 40 hours we That's managed to do a feature. Yeah. And so then that feature showed once at a screening as part of the Ingrid yeah, 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 thing yeah. In, in October. And based on that screening, we were include, that the film was included on a best of critics list. We're the only Toronto filmmakers included on the best of for the grid. Adam Naiman gave us that little nod. And we, ha we have a distributor on board. And Who's distributing? College Street Pictures. Stacy Donan. Which is Stacy Donan. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. And so there you go. Before we did this project, a very famous Canadian producer said to me, why on earth would you want to do something like this? What would be the point? What would be the point? Said that to me over and over again. At a wake. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, well, I just think that being an artist means being creative and taking chances and pushing the limits. And we all have films in the proper development system where we want real budgets. But mm -hmm. if we can pull this off, then it's, the, then it's, then it's, you know, think of what you could do for two thousand dollars to to all the people that are hiring you or expecting to and, hire and, and you. And six days. And six wow. days. If we can pull this off, if we had six days to make this movie. Yes. <laughs> watch us go. You know. So it was a bit of a calling card. You know. But mostly, I think I don't know. I don't want to speak for you, but I feel like mostly it was just, it was like an idea, a great location, great group of friends. We were kind of like ready to do something, yeah. and and it and it worked out. Yeah. So. I highly recommend trying to. Yeah. Trying well, what to was do good it. about it, and like if, if for anyone out there who want to do it, I think the most important thing it's not because limitations of budget are kind of normal. People make low budget yep. movies, right? Limitations of time, you're gonna be limited in time. But Always. I think one of the most important things, and the reason why we actually is is, is as as somebody really smart says, like geniuses finish stuff. That's like why they're geniuses. So what we actually did is we managed to finish, but that's mainly because we had a really clear cut deadline. Not as to when we had to, not because we're a genius. <laughs> nothing to do with that. No. no, it's because we had to like actually you had finish no choice. it. And I think that's the deadline. Like, we had to. We had to. And Isn't that was that like the most important. You have thing. to give yourself a deadline. You yeah. even yeah. if nobody else's self-imposed deadlines and punishment if you yes. don't. Yes. Yeah. Which should lead us to the conversation about your app that you want to invent. Oh right, yeah. I don't know if you want to give it away, but well, I can't. I mean, well, you just. If, it's too late. It's too late now. I open, the, open that can of worms and share it with the world. Sure. It was well, an app. Well, it's not an Wasn't app. It, an app it was a website. Well, I'm sure it'll progress into now an, it's an app. app. Everything's an app. It should be an app. Everything's. An you app. should make it. No, it's app. basically it's, it's a it's, it's it would be a place where uh, you would um, give yourself a deadline, and you would in, put money into like an escrow account, whatever amount of money that, that it is that that that, that, that you're you feel to, is that you're willing to risk. That you're worth. But that you're worth. But I mean, if you know, if, it, if <laughs> it's like is worth. if it's like I don't know, like cleaning your house or something like that is probably going to be like 50 bucks or something yeah. right but if it's like you know right i'm going to i'm going to write a script write a script a feature. then it, you know you're a little you bit more significant in. yeah and then and then and then you have a deadline and that deadline and, and there's like daily reminders there's like you know web like you get your emails where that, are you where are you, you, you know is that if you don't make that deadline if you don't make that deadline we i get the money Nice. The money dissolves. And if and if but if you do get it, then the money comes back to you. And on top of that, you have a you script, have a script. <laughs> or whatever it is that you're doing. What know? about here's what you do once that once the app gets really really popular to add additional incentive. Yes. You keep fifty percent, and then that month, whoever actually committed their things gets a percentage oh. of the split. Oh wow. Even nicer. Wow. Oh even my nicer. God. So then it's like it's even more incentive. It's like yes. I have to do. But then I guess there's, it's an honor system, right? How do you know someone did did or didn't do their thing? Didn't do their thing. Oh, Maybe you have. Point. To, we haven't thought the app out. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't figured that part out. <laughs> and dead. <laughs> Just like, and that's why artists are bums yeah. <laughs> and don't finish yeah. anything. Yeah. Potentially a money making idea. You have to figure out how how you can make people, you know, be honest about it because that's the problem. Especially if you're. Yeah, that's true. Money. I assume. Yeah, because I assume that everyone's going to be honest. But yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Look at it, you. it only takes one. Look it only at takes you. one. The whole system gets blown. Yeah. yeah, that's a good app for you. You should make that for yourself. I think at least for you. 
that, yeah, that, that would work. <laughs> it's a good idea that you put the money in that that you're holding yourself ransom. I like the idea behind that app because yeah. of that. And it's you can put whatever like value you want on it too. It's, it, you it'll only like, let yourself you value down your own you work. Yeah, right finish now. it. Yeah. Yeah. Or just make a personal punishment, like no chocolate for a month. Even no... that. Even that. But yeah, would, but you seems... write a, would you write yeah. a, a feature for no chocolate? Like if you if you didn't finish it, then you couldn't have no chocolate. You couldn't have any chocolate. I'm very good about punishing myself. You are? Yeah. Okay. That's why this are you good at deadlines? Yeah. yeah. You are? Yeah, yeah, self-imposed. Yeah. Very, very disciplined. Self-imposed. Yeah. Very, very, very disciplined. Okay. Good. I have to be. Yeah. I write really quickly, too. I write quickly. So it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't hurt. I mean, I outline... Yeah ridiculously and so then when I get to a script it's like it's usually a couple of days and I have a draft and then but it's the first draft so it's that and in high school when you had like an essay to write were you the same way I was a shitty shitty student no, not because I didn't give okay. a fuck about high school <laughs> I was like I would work on a play or I'd work on whatever okay. I would work my ass up on that and it's like I guess I have to do this essay terrible so like student. last minute essay guy but you yeah, know, thought, but I would work my ass up on like, if I was yeah. writing a play at the okay. time and that kind of stuff. I had like, literally I had a high school teacher write in my yearbook, whatever writing you do well, it isn't assignments. <gasps> oh. Well, they but thought, that's very they thought my other, Yeah, I'm like, well, thank you. And, you know, kind of complimentary. You know, well, I'll take that. I mean, they're still teaching high school, and I'm not in high school anymore, exactly. so I'll take that. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, not that there's I, anything wrong with taking high school. No, but you the can teachers stay in high school yeah. and then go to university because yeah. there ain't no jobs out there. So you gotta <laughs> delay that. Uh-huh. <laughs> so how do you find? Because you, um, the transition for you going from acting to writing uh, and directing too. And I directing. Think. Right. Yeah, uh, I was in the, at the Canadian Film Center as a director. So uh, we, how do I find that transition? I don't know. I think that um, was that always the path, or was it just something at one point you decided I that, think that oh, I, fuck acting. Yeah, well, it's pretty easy to say that in Canada. Uh, it's disheartening a little bit sometimes. Um, no, I just, I feel this is how I, th- I think of it. It's like, if you're artistic, you want to as many tools as you can to communicate. And for the longest time, really long time, acting was enough for me. It was, I felt really satisfied in communicating the things that I had to say through other people's projects mm-hmm. And and emotionalizing uh, and physicalizing um, a story, and then it got really boring t- for me, and I needed to have other things in the mix. And I would always be writing, and I would always be, you know, taking photographs and and you know, drawing and doing all those other kinds of arts. And and I'm, I'm interested in music, although I don't play it. And it just seemed like the right kind of Right. Um, path. I wanted to also go back to s- university, and um, at some point during acting, because I had always meant to get my degree, and I really went from like high school to university, and then in my first year of university, I got my first kind of you know bigger job in the movie called The Five Senses, and that led to getting an LA agent, and I went to LA, and I you know there and then was all of a sudden you're. There was yeah. So suddenly, I you know was out of out, out of university, and I always meant to go back, and so I waited until I was about twenty six, and came back to Canada and uh, went back to university and studied film theory. So I wrote a lot of essays and didn't pick up a camera until the very final year, when you had to take a class, and I was really scared uh, to take a class and uh, in in film directing especially because I was really scared of the technology for some reason, mm. and. Uh, I was, I felt successful at it and I felt, okay, this actually isn't as daunting as I thought it was and maybe I'll just apply to the Canadian Film Centre and got into the Berlinale Talent Campus, which is this thing that they have in Berlin based on the short that I had made in the last year of university and used that, also that short film to apply to the Canadian Film Centre and got in and then it was just like, now I'm a writer and director (laughs) in my mind because I, 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 I learned a lot during those four years at cinema studies. Um, I learned the kind of filmmaker I would want to be, and I was slowly but surely articulating to myself what that meant. And then as soon as I was thrust into the Canadian Film Center, I didn't think I was gonna get in um, the first year. And then I was there, and I was literally there with people like Mihao, for example, who had made, I don't know how many films, but many more films than I had and had gone to the most prestigious school in, in, in Poland 
And everyone else in the group that I was with as directors had just shot so much more than I had. And so I just had a really steep learning curve, but it was really exhilarating and, and I just kept, kept at it. And here we are, here we are. So then what's your path? You, you, I mean, you... I mean, I, I went to film school. I went to film school in Poland at the, the, the Łódź Film School, um, which is the same one that, like, your Polanskis, your Kishlovskis, all those guys did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> although, those, those guys. guys. <laughs> those guys. Yeah. If you're going to go biggies. somewhere. Whatever. Yeah, and I filmed it in, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, which is, it's they just, kicked you out, and so now you're in Canada. <laughs> well, they didn't kick me out. I mean, I actually, I, I, when, I, when I finished school, I, 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 was, I stayed there for a while. And I actually, I mean, I, can, I guess I can say that the, the, one of the reasons why I went to that particular film school, not any other, is actually because it's free. It's free. It's kind of a radio. Yeah, Plans it's free. It's cheap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, well, which is a huge advantage. If, it's free if you're in Poland. Poland. So, uh, uh, so that's like a huge advantage. Because if you think about like the... the, 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 the well, I mean, like, one of the things about film school, which I actually don't recommend people go to, is that uh, it's really expensive. Like, it's, it it's, 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 you're spending a lot of money, and honestly, nowadays, take your money. If you, we can make a movie for a thousand bucks. Like, take your ten grand or whatever, and just, like... I wholeheartedly disagree with that statement. Make a movie. Uh-oh. Yeah. I say go to school. Yeah. But I say don't take production, take film studies. You guys have a lot of fun raising kids together. <laughs> <around a lot. laughs> We're working on a dog. Yeah, yeah start with the dog. <laughs> yeah. Start with the dog. Yeah. Maybe yeah. a plant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so I, yeah, I ended up, uh, I, I mean, I, I went through that, uh, worked in that industry for a little bit, ended up doing TV, and then uh, came back here because I was, I was just, uh, well, I mean, I was just kind of I was kind of done with that system, I guess. And, and, and I thought this system was going to be lovelier. It's so lovely. Yeah? So, no, really, no. <laughs> it's just, a, to be honest, they're all. It's, it's, they're all no, matter, no matter what, it's It's like, hard to make films. It's, it's hard to making be a films filmmaker. Is hard, yeah. Everyone's a filmmaker these days, <laughs> including us, including schmucks like us. So No, I mean, but the, the technology is such that anybody can be, and it doesn't mean that everybody should be. Yeah. And yeah. I don't want to change. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. where, I, where I then go back to, like, the schooling for me was, like, he, like, studying film and kind of learning a bit about the language of cinema and, and all those, I mean, it's, I guess it's airy-fairy, but it helps you because I feel like you, I don't know, because when you're in the rooms with the people that have seen all those films, you can communicate and you have, you have a point of view. Well, you have a shared you know? experience too, Yeah, right? true, which is helpful. But yeah, it's yeah. not necessary. No, sure. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, if, if you're going to go to film school, kids, uh, kids. is uh, <laughs> the, there's there's two like the two things like it used to be three things. It used to be like access to equipment, but nowadays, you know, you get your DSLR and you have exactly the yeah, same so tool. I can make a movie on this. Oh yeah, exactly. So like you know, so that that's out of it. But uh, the other thing is, um, and I think most important is you get to meet people. You get uh, a network. You yeah. get a network, and you're starting the network, and and. The people that you meet at the school potentially will be the people that you'll be working with. That's what like, I found was the most beneficial. You know, and that's uh, really what. Where did you? Where did you? I went to Niagara you? College. Okay. No, which is a small. It's okay. you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was good. It was okay. Cool. Yeah. Here, doing yeah. my thing. Yeah. Doing yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, yeah. and then I mean, what you do like coming out of school? That's that's that's, that's really up to you. I don't think. I mean, I think, I think school. I yeah, I, I mean, I don't think it really necessarily matters where you went. I don't know that I'm going to stop talking because that's not true either. I, I, I think it's more about what you bring to it than what it brings to you. Right. Huh. And what you get out of it and what you, yeah. do, what you do with it after. What do do? Yeah. Like in anything, I suppose. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's a certain, yeah, I guess, I mean, some programs, I guess, are more, give more, but I mean, honestly, then, then, the, then the, the thing is like, do they give you access to the industry? Most programs don't. Don't. Or they teach you the wrong things. Or they teach you the things that are like, oh, this is how them. you're supposed yeah. to slate, yeah. or this yeah. is how you're supposed to. Yeah. 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 So we have to do this before. Okay. Oh right. Oh yeah. Sorry. We're running out of time already. This is great. I could do this all night. Yeah. And I feel we'll ramble. Okay. We'll ramble, but that's okay. Uh, you want to grab first, or? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry. Whatever this question is, I'm sorry. Oh, you can't. Yeah, you gotta oh, no. pass okay. it over. You gotta do it. And it's to you. Yes. Oh, no, is it to both of us? Let's do it together. You can do it together. Okay. Okay. If you could do, okay, say if you weren't working in. The industry, yeah. or had aspirations to be. What else would you be doing? Okay, um, I was not working in the industry. Mm. I would like to be if I like completely. I have no qualifications to do this, so that's okay. This I is leave, fantasy. If I leave the industry, it's not like this is what I will be because I have absolutely. But 
you know, being a detective is something that comes right. up. Right, yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, I have a little very, bit of an Nancy Drew. But that's like a writer thing. Kinda, you're you're yeah, a detective as a writer now, right? It's true, it's true, but actually, the, like, the crime solving, I think I would be good at it. You just want to do the movie version of a detective, though. I, I think... also want to wear the trench coat. <laughs> She has a lot of trench coats. You should coats. just play the closet is something. just trench coats. I really do want to I'm not kidding. It's true. Uh, yeah, I think I would actually, there's actually, we are kind of working on something where with another person uh, for TV and the, the other, it was, it's the other person's idea and he wants me to be the lead and, and it's a, it's a detective. detective role. And I really do want to be cast in it just because. Get that out of your system. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Uh, Go. Detective. Huh? Uh, yes, I don't think. I don't know what else I'm qualified for. Biology. biology. Um, I, but I wouldn't do that though. Yeah, because I studied, studied I studied biology before I went to film school. Was that free too, or did? You uh, no, that was not free. <laughs> that was not free. That, that was here. It was cheap. But it was here. Um, uh, yeah, no, I would never be a biologist. I don't think, which is why. Dolphins. Cool, which is why. I, well, I like the dolphins, but now. Dogs. Something with dogs. No, that's like veterinarian or something. No, you know. You'd what? be homeless. I think. I would be. Yeah. <laughs> You would do nothing. I, I, would, I would just surf the net all day. <laughs> Realistically, that's all. There's I mean. a job. That's a that's a job. Yeah, somebody's I'm job. I'm sure someone pays people for that. Yeah. Actually, a detective would. There well, there you go. You so I'd be a researcher to a detective. You can work for Done. him. That's no. what I would be. Who's next? All right. It's fun. It's, it terrifies some people. <laughs> it's a little scary. Oh. That one was <laughs> an easy question. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that one's not about the soul crunching stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Enough with the oh. self walls. What's something you got grounded for as a kid? My parents weren't big on grounding, uh, to Beating, be honest. Then, just uh, <laughs> was, uh, I once said I was going on a fishing trip and I went to a rave in Minneapolis. <laughs> Jesus, wow. How old were you? Whatever. I don't know, like Six. 15 or so. <laughs> 11. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You guys are up late. It's like, we actually, my friend Christopher and I, we... We got um, like fishing. We like why fishing this. trip? Why pick exactly? Is, is like honestly, yeah, like, like my parents were like, fishing. really? Yeah, you've never. You're not an outdoorsy person <laughs> at all. I would just that, yeah. Don't be thrown by the hat. It's just fashion. <laughs> really? You took uh, a fishing trip? I yeah, know. they believed me because their parents were like a half a day, and then they started calling around, and then we finally got a phone call that were like. Where are you? We're like, we're in Minneapolis. We've been to all the fishing holes in town. That's right. And you're not. The best one is in Minneapolis. The best one's in Minneapolis. So I think I got in trouble for that. (laughs) I'm not sure if I got grounded, but, you know, yeah. That Uh, that would be mine. Yeah. I I don't know. It's just normal normal stuff, like underage drinking and all that stuff. (gasps) Nothing, nothing. Your parents had underage drinking? Well, they didn't catch me. What happened is there was, um, we were on, I used, that was a, 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 I fenced fencing uh, as, a, as, a, as, you know, as a sport, as a, as a, as a, as a team. And um, we were uh, on a trip to uh, Barrie, Ontario. And um, uh, the organizers of this thing came up with this wonderful idea of putting, it was like this Junior Olympics type thing. And they came up with this wonderful idea of putting all the kids together in one hotel, thinking, you know, it's safer that way. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, what, do you, what happens when you put a bunch of teenagers together in a hotel? They drink. I mean, they, they drink, right? And so, anyway, so there was there was some incidents. There was some, you know, there was some rabble rousing. So uh, this there was some police called in. Oh, okay. uh, we were actually as our our, our our club as such was actually banned from Barry. I'm not joking. Like they actually we were banned. It was almost like one of those old west things where like the sheriff says, "You're not welcome in this town again." We were actually banned from there for a year. We couldn't sit. Well done. <laughs> inside okay. inside the thing because they blamed us for all the. Uh, all the stuff. your answers to these questions nope. too? Yeah. No, no, no. So, it goes this way. You can have your own damn yeah. podcast. So, anyway, so I was so I was grounded for that. Yeah. It was it was hard to keep a lid on that stuff. Yeah. So sure. it came back and, and it's hard and, to keep a lid on So fishing. yeah, that was that kind of that kind of stuff. I Happened mean, all the time. I was never grounded. You, never you were grounded? never grounded. Really? I'm sure I was I was I was a pretty good kid though. I was grounded for a story I'm not going to tell because I'm going to put it in a film one day. I'll tell you all. Oh, okay. Oh, that was good. Interesting. Oh, all right. Interesting. I took, I took a bullet from my dad is what happened. What? Oh. Oh, oh, oh dear. Really I was grounded tell. inappropriately, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to tell the story right now. You'll see it in the movie. Does he know point. that you're going to make wow. a movie about this? That's he he doesn't. He could see. never. He, this is going to be on the internet, which to him is that's too. <laughs> yeah, he'll never. He'll never know. He can kind of type. Does he, does he, he know? types like a serial killer. No, he does this. I had I set him up with online dating like six months ago, and uh, and he showed me an email. He wrote to someone. I was like, you can't do that. You look like 
you look like a serial killer. It's like all caps, no commas. It's like, that's, you can't do that. It's terrible. He's like, I want to meet for coffee now. Yeah, it's just like, every, it's like, so you don't understand when you write in all caps, right. it's, you're yeah, shouting yeah, yeah. to people. And when you mm. use commas, it's creepy. Like what you just wrote now, no matter how lovely, if you took one of Shakespeare's sonnets <laughs> and wrote it the way you did, it's going to come off as creepy and terrible. That's so funny. Yeah. That is something wow. you don't really think about. It's so true. Yeah. Like how would you? How would he know? Well, he because he he, how do we know? he went to, he dropped out of like yeah. high school in grade ten. Yeah. So you know the fact right. he's literate at all and hasn't probably ever read a book. Since then, Jeez, because wow. that's not he's you know he's a steel worker, he's a Amor. carpenter. I'm gonna take him. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> that Amor, not for him. I'm just gonna say it right. We're gonna after. go there and then chat about it at Hooters afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a, All that's right. A place to go. Um, it's your your turn. Me, the cookie um, jar. Another one. Okay. Here. Ah. Oh, that one doesn't fall. Go with another one. Okay. Some of these don't really. Oh, okay. It was like, what was it like being a giraffe when you were young? Yeah, and I already know the answer to that for you guys. Oh. Tall. So this one's probably more for you. Is there, well, you kind of already answered this. The question is, what kind of role would you like to play that you haven't had a chance Detectives. to? Detective. Detective. Yeah. Nancy Drew. There you go. Yeah. Moving right along then. Four. Question four. We have, okay. we have to do five. You, That's I my think rule. I, okay. Well, one of them was guys disqualified, so. Okay. He'll do the last one. Okay, great. Oh. What's your favorite thing about being a filmmaker? You have to start. No, oh, well, that's well for me. It's easy. It's working on set, working with people on set as a as a director. Love it. Just love being love being. Some on people set. hate being on the set. I I love it. Yeah, I, I, I really I really do. I, I really do enjoy it. It's stressful but fun, and, and it's just that you get to talk to people. That's the I find that's the, when I'm like talking to like people that are starting out as filmmakers. That's when they, I tell them I'm like, no matter how much you've studied, you know. Uh, theme or character or whatever it's like that's yeah. not going to help you when you've got an hour left and five shots to get yeah. right it's like that's that's being a filmmaker yeah you know there's that other i mean obviously all the other stuff too but i'm like that's the hard part about it i think it's that stress like being there everyone's asking you questions and you've got to make your day and not yeah. comp and and Make compromises without compromising. Right, but I mean that's yeah. The, the, I, 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 I love, I love that. I really like that part. I like that. That's just, the like problem. That it's creative problem solving, yeah. is what it is, and that's what I guess it's. I mean, I guess the whole filmmaking process is creative problem solving, but on set, it's like you because of the time constraints, I, that extra bit of stress, and every single time it's something different. It's just it's really, and when you do solve it, it's just like oh, the man. ultimate feeling, and it just feels it's it's just great. Like I, I love that part. I mm. really do love that aspect of it. I do too. I would I would say that's a really high that's that's high up there that that sort of stress and the problem solving and you know you happen to think that you might be good at it if you've been on set now for a while filming. Um, so yes, I like I enjoy that. Um, I also I, I also like like taking how do I articulate this? I I like I like it. You know, it's not enough time. Uh, I like. Taking an idea and actualizing it, I mm. do. Like I like, I'm amazed at that you can. Ha I'm very visually inclined. Like I will, if I'm reading a book, I can very easily visualize it. I've learned over the years that not everyone does that. I see numbers when I see numbers written. I see them as colors. So I'm vi I'm visual, and so for me to actually like imagine something and then see it, that and have created that is, like. Deeply, deeply satisfying. I just get a kick out of it. I don't stop. What color is seven? Yellow. You can do this Jesus. for days. I'm. Yeah. No, she can. She can really do I'm this. I'm gonna yeah. stop then because yeah. I, no. I would do this it's, for days with you. It's actually a thing. It's a, it's called synthesia. 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 Sixty-three. Brown and uh, pink. Brown six. and pink. Well, six is brown and and three is pink. Oh, it's, so they go plaid one. together. <laughs> In general, and I guess you can, I mean, you can answer this as an actor, but you can also turn this to filmmaking. Is it easier to portray love or hate in a story? Oh, good question. Good question. Very good question. Is it easier to portray love or hate? I guess. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, a, that's a really tough question. Really good um, question. I'm going to say hate is easier. Um, 
I, mean, I have to say why, right? Um, I, don't know. I mean, I think it's, it's so. I don't know. It's <laughs> <a very laughs> no, okay, question. good. Look, I'm done. There I'm done. done. You. Next. <laughs> I will say love. <laughs> no. Um, sorry, was the question easier? Or easier, hard? easier. What, Which one's easier? easier? Yeah. To portray. I would I, say hate. It just seems like. I don't know. It seems like negative. No. Negative emotions are easier to portray. Than positive ones. Because probably I think because positive ones are really specific. Right. Where, neg- where well, negative also, ones can be I mean, more love, generic. I mean, love, of course, is so complicated. Well, and hate is pretty straightforward. It's easy to hate someone. It's hard to love them. Well, That's what well, we learned today. It's easy to hate someone. I, would, I, mean, I think it's easier to explain. I think it's, it's easier to comprehend why you hate something than why you love something. Oh, God. Oh, Look at that. This is... This so, is a ride home like a more was gonna be. I don't know. I don't know. Look what I did to you guys tonight. <laughs> it's be some fun pillow talk tonight. Who is making dinner? Um, um, yeah. We could take it. It's it's. It's a good question, and and I would like to spend my life trying to answer that. No, nice. that's a really good question. That's a good way to answer that's that question. Yeah. yeah, that's actually really thought provoking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'll let you guys keep on thinking. About it. <laughs> and you know. So now to wrap up, I uh, you have to do one of two things because there's two of you. I might just make you do it together. Usually, it's either uh, an arm wrestle, okay, or you have to portray some kind of ta- unique talent. A unique talent. Or you could arm wrestle each other. Usually, the person has to arm wrestle I mean, me, but because there's two there's of you. There's a slight difference in size, but okay, let's arm wrestle. You want, you want arm? We can arm wrestle, sure. Um, I don't I'm have any unique that. talents. That's what I mean. Well, not that we can. A three way? Yeah. Yeah. Or, we could, or just uh, take turns. Like, you know, you've got to oh, it's like, like best out of three or no, something. No, no. If you do <laughs> three people at once, then it's distracting. How do you, you have a three-way oh, arm? We're gonna go. How do you do three arm? So and, and then, then oh, like you're doing it this way. You and then you guys. And, and then, then you have to do that. Okay. okay. What? And then. How's this gonna work? Yeah. And then. If you're not experiencing this visually, <laughs> Nadia won. Yeah. Beat me, and now it's you and I. Yeah. Okay. And you have to beat her at the same time. So Nadia's already won one of three. If you're not, ow, okay. ow. you're actually trying really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. I give up. <laughs> he does Muay Thai, so yeah. Oh, you actually work out and stuff? That's not fair. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't actually arm wrestle much in Muay Thai, though. No. Yeah. It's not, not what it our, is. It's not. No, it's not. No, it's not what it is. Yeah, it's oh. Thai arm wrestling is what oh. it is. Yeah. So unfortunately, we have to wrap it up. I could have done this oh, with that, you guys. Yeah, yeah that was really Thank fast. You. That was, that was like no, the quickest really fast. 60 minutes. Sorry. I, I, when it comes to it, well, we have three ways. It's like you just, yeah, just yeah, fly right by. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Three ways all the way. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, thanks for coming on. Uh, so, if you like the show, like it on Facebook, tweet about it, and uh, and ask us questions. I'll add them to the jar. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Bye. 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 Thanks. Go see Hotel Congress. And Hotel Congress. Congress. Oh, sorry. Are we still are we still rolling? Yeah. How can we how can we see that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. I'm glad we still rolled. You know, it's playing, yeah. in, King, you know. It's playing in Kingston on. Next this Friday. Friday. This, this Friday. Friday will not on. air yet. No. Is, so is never mind. Then never mind. Like, then never mind. It will like be on Netflix. If you follow us on soon Twitter, enough. if you follow us on Twitter and you follow us on Facebook, Hotel that. Congress is on Facebook. And it's like Hotel here, Congress right? the film. Right here, right now. Am I pointing at Hotel it? Hotel Congress the film. You're now pointing. Now I'm pointing at it. Yeah. Okay. You can right find out, and it will be coming. It's coming to a theater near you very soon, and we'll. We'll definitely be on iTunes, Netflix, and all that stuff. Oh, we would definitely do that. I'll definitely do that. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a, it's a question of like no. day and date or right. whatever. Yeah, but anyways, <laughs> thank you. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye. Right. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks so much. In today's world, people are busy and impatient. We are on information overload. Every minute counts. People want to know what you can do for them. They won't spend time reading or searching, but they will watch a video. If it clearly explains who you are and what you do and tells them what they want to hear, they will reach out to you. You have seconds to get people's attention. You want a video that is engaging and makes the viewer feel as though it is speaking directly to their needs. Add to your sales team a short video and let it do the heavy selling for you. Or add to your social media or wherever your audience is spending their time. Videos can pay back your investment 10 times over. So now that you've heard our message, let's talk about yours. Let's bring your image to life.